Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Tickle Biddies, and if you get the reference, then you are l -l -l legendary Legendary! Uh, not the blitz! So today we'll be playing Rise of Kingdoms. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel as it will help us a lot as a content creator. And of course, you will get some notifications for when we have new videos up and running. So without further ado, guys, let us begin this video, shall we? Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tig, and we are going to be playing our main account here on 1611. Lost Kingdom number 76, KVK Season 3, Light and Darkness. And we are going to be doing a few things today. We are going to be doing our weekly gem haul because it's a Monday today and we are going to see how much we did from the past week. And of course, we are going to be doing Stage 4 of Light and Darkness Past Glory event. I mean, War of Conquest, as it is called now. War of Conquest. And it's going to be uh, troop training. And of course, we're going to be taking a look at Zhao Chan because we finally, finally, finally unlocked her after 7 days here in the Dance of Friendship. And it's going to be interesting because they're telling us that she's going to be one of the best epic commanders and this is going to be huge for free-to-play players moving forward. So let's begin with our weekly gem haul, shall we? Alright guys, so let us take in our gents right now. It is at 11,285. Then... Oh my gosh, Tickle Betis is now the king. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for this kingdom making me the king. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, let's get this going. 11,285 gems. And we're gonna open this one over here. I don't know how much this is. Um, uh, oh my gosh. 40 times 5 is 200. <laughs> What is wrong with me? There we go. And then we got some... Wow! 9,200 gems from Killing Barbarians. That is awesome. Well, I also got some rewards here from MGE. I was ranked 30, I think. So I got some 3 heads for Attila as well. And then we got a few gems over here. 350, some 300 over here. And some 600. And some 3,000. Wow! That is awesome. 3,000 gems. Alright, that is awesome. So now we are at 24,935. So how much did we make there? Um, let me just distract, oh, subtract this. <laughs> distract, what the heck? <laughs> Alright, so we got 13,650 for this week, for the past week here in Lost Kingdom Light and Darkness. So that is pretty awesome. It's, it's a little lower than last week. Alright guys, so what is next on our agenda today? It is going to be War of Conquest, Sage 4, Troop Training. The highest rewards are going to be received by earning 1.2 million points. And that's going to be quite fast actually if you train T5s. And we already got 400,000 points here because I just finished training uh, 4,000 new T5s. So we're, we're a bit closer. Alright, so we are now going to be training some troops. Let us get this 15% rune over here. And then we Wait! How am I supposed to request for Duke if I have the king? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let me just give it to someone else for a while. Alright, so we're gonna give uh, R5 first to Venomous Poison. And then <laughs> I'm gonna get it back later. Cause I need Duke. I need Duke right now. Give me Duke! Give me Duke! Dukey Dukey! Alright guys, we finally have Duke right now and it's time to train a little bit of troops to get our minimum points over here. And hopefully I'm just gonna go for... I need to train a little bit more T4 infantry here because it is so expensive to fight with T5 and I learned it the hard way in <laughs> these past ruins fights. Now I can't really record these ruins fights because um, they're just too laggy. They're too laggy and I probably won't have much content if I just record um, the ruins fight and just see my troops teleporting everywhere and just randomly dying because I can't control them. I'm training T4s because it's much more economical to field fight with these guys. I'm much more comfortable with playing with them. 
because yesterday I was left with just a million uh, food left before I used some of my resource reserves and I had like 790,000 gold <laughs> for before I sent myself some gold from my farms and now other people are sending me actually Thank you so much for sending me resources, Kim64 and Voidski. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, that is awesome. And it's funny because I'm I'm usually a I'm usually a commander. I'm usually a cav cavalry guy, but in these ruins battles, I've been using a lot of infantry. As you can see, my my stone is really high, and my food and my wood is really down. Alright, have we got it? Have we got it? Have we got it? Yep, we got the 1.4 actually. We got 1.4 million points. Alright, that's still pretty low. We're probably gonna raise that up later on. We're gonna wait for some buffs, um, including Kingdom buff training, 50% uh, rune, of course, Duke. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. At least now we got all of the rewards that we can from this event, and we got 1.4 million points so far. Alright, so I just noticed that we also trained troops for training day. <laughs> I just realized that we also hit that. So we hit two birds with one stone day. Alright, so let's see how much Saluna coins we got here. We got another 4200 and we're gonna donate that to our Grace of Soluna. Troop attack or harden? I'm not sure. I think harden is better. That we can last a little bit longer in the battle. Alright, so that's 6,700, right? Oh my gosh, I should have checked how much I got first. Alright, so go ahead. Right now we have 169,000 flat. Alright, 169,000 flat. Let us donate to Harden over here. Or James Harden. Oh yeah, for the NBA fans out there. What's up? Oh, we're getting a lot of crits. That is all. Okay, I jinxed it. Alright, there we go. Come on. Crit, crit. Oh my god, it's all 100. Oh my god, that was so horrible. That was so horrible. That stretch was all 100. And... Bam! Wow, we got a clean slate here. Zero Saluna coins left. Alright, so we are 169,000 a while ago and we are now 185,500. So, we got... 16,500 Saluna coins from 6,700? I mean, 16,500 honor from 6,700 um, Saluna coins. So that's that's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. Let us now check on the newest epic commander, Zhao Chan, which we got from an event that is a crossover with, um, whatchamacallit? Clan ST Warriors over here in the top left. Alright, so this is great because. Dao Chan can be maxed with universal sculptures, which is really great because we don't have to max her like Kara from certain events, and we can just use our huge stack of commander sculptures here to get her. So this will be fast for us. Bam. There we go, expertise, nice! Bam! For the next 4 seconds, attack have 100% chance to deal direct damage to the target. Damage factor 400. So with this skill alone, without any talent trees, you're gonna get 1600 damage factor in, the, in 4 seconds. So that is pretty huge. That is huge. Alright, so we got Dance of the Silver Lotus here for the Barbarians. Dance of the Rose, which is going to give you some pretty good stats here. 20% all in all for attack and defense combined to the 10% each. And of course, with Dance of Cherry Blossom, a portion of slightly wounded units led by this commander are healed after using a skill, Heal Factor 500, and receives additional healing when troops include Lubu, the commander Lubu, and it can trigger almost once every, at most once every 5 seconds. So that is huge actually. And it's like it can sustain you in um, barbing for a very long time. So I'm just gonna give her some skill talent trees here, all the way up to trophy hunter. And of course, this one. And we're gonna give her support tree because we want her to keep on 
um, popping up that skill. Because her skill is freaking crazy. I mean, what if her skills, like, overlap? Like, how does that work? But I'm not even sure if it can overlap. That's pretty crazy, right? Bam. 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 Oh, I'm running out. No! Let's use this one. There we go. Now she is a 5-star. Right, I'm just gonna leave her at 5 star here. She can level up while killing barbarians. She'll be fine. I mean, she's got good talents and good skills. And there you go. Bam, bam. Oh, we're gonna have to get this one. Enhanced healing effects by 3%. Because she has healing, um, healing skills. Oh, that would be nice, right? That would be nice. Uh, when healed, troops level is commander will be at. Oh, interesting. We can also get that. But I also want to get over here, curing chant, so that she can be like a, a freaking um, barb killing monster. Uh, let's go to the expedition over here. Uh, expedition, and then let's go to. Is there like a one on one thing? Oh yeah, one on one things. Like let's see, level fifty. Royal guard, Jiao Chan. All right, I want to see that skill of Jiao Chan activate. Let's go. Alright, let's see the skill now. There, pop it. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty nice. I like that. Wow, that is awesome. I hope it procs one more time. Oh, nice. Wow, that looks nice. I mean, I want to see this with a Frederick. Let's go with level 70, and I will give you with Frederick. Frederick. Where's Mr. Frederick? Frederick! Oh, he's just level 40. Uh, where is Frederick? Oh no, where is Dao Chan? There we go. Dao Chan! Let's see how many times they're gonna activate their skill damage here. Oh my god, 705,000! We're gonna die! <laughs> We're gonna die! Right, we're gonna see it now. There we go. All right, here goes Frederick. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> so much skill damage. That is awesome. All right, it's fun to watch. It's not the highest skill damage that there's gonna be, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> there's like so much skill damage going on. <sighs> see, what is, what is going on? There's like, what, seven? Seven that time? What the heck? Let's see one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine! What the heck? <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. I know we're losing, but that's fun to watch. Oh, just imagine if my Frederick was um, a maxed commander as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, probably eight. Seven to eight times they do it. Imagine if my Frederick was maxed. It's gonna be a little bit more skill damage activating over there. Oh, <laughs> that is so interesting. All right, guys, <laughs> that's it for our short, short test here. All right, so that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure did, especially with testing Dao Chan. I'm very interested in using her later on. Although she's not an AOE, which is my favorite type of commanders, she's still going to be great out there. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and of course, please consider subscribing to the channel as it will help us a lot as a content creator. And with that, guys, see you on the next one. Good luck, have fun, and remember, be legendary!